Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at the to call function, which allows us to take multiple columns of data from an array and combine them into a single column. So imagine I've got this list of account numbers and each account has an account manager, a reporting analyst, and an auditor. And there's some repetition of the names. We'll address that um, in a bit. Because I want to just get a single list called staff, where the account managers, reporting analysts, and auditors are all in a single list to create my staff list. So I'm going to skip over a column and create a heading staff. And we'll do equals to call, open paren. And we can see the one required parameter is an array of data. So I will select from B2 over and down to uh, D31, close paren. So we now have each of those values. So it kind of goes across Austin, Lauper, Graham, then Prince, Chacon, Almanzar. And we can see that's happening here. Uh, and that's great. That's basically what I wanted, except I don't need the repetition, right? I only need one of each. So I'm going to wrap my to call function inside the unique function. And when we close the parentheses on that, we now have one instance of each. So I only have one of each of those staff members, regardless as to whether they're an account manager, reporting analyst, or auditor. Now, I think the last thing I'll do is I'd like to see this in alphabetical order. So I'm going to put the unique uh, uh, to call result inside the sort function. So we'll do a sort in front of that and a closing parentheses. And there we go. So it was the to call function that got us there, got us to the point where we had the data from all three columns in a single column. So that was the function of to call. And then from there, we put it inside unique. So I only had one instance of each name and then sort uh, so that it would be in alphabetical order. And so now here's our alphabetized one, ver one instance of each name uh, combined from those three separate columns. Now I'm going to add one additional piece that's really kind of cool. So the to call function, uh, the uh, unique function, and the sort function are all part of what we call spill functions. These, these functions that when you write the formula in a single cell, the results can potentially have multiple answers, right? In this case, the final result was, you know, 19 or 20 or so records. So the data spills forward. So I want to create a formula that will automatically number the, the IDs or number the staff members with an ID number. So I'm going to create a, a heading called staff ID. And so let's say the first entry there uh, will be staff ID 1, the next one will be staff ID 2, and so on. So the first thing I'll do is write my core formula. I'm going to say equals row. Now the row function is nice because I can refer to this cell over here, K2, which is my first staff member. So the result of that function would be 2 because it's in row 2, but I can simply say minus 1, and that then becomes staff ID number 1. Here's the thing, though, guys. I don't want to have to manually drag this down. And furthermore, what if there's some additional names that show up in this list and this list continues to grow? I want my formula to grow as well. So if you are writing a formula that makes a reference to a cell that contains a formula that is spilling forward, you can tell this formula to follow the spill by putting the pound sign after the cell reference. So when I say K2 pound, then it knows to automatically extend the formula that's creating the staff ID. So let's come over here and say we want to add uh, another reporting analyst. So I'll add, say, uh, Irving comma J. So that was an additional name that wasn't there before, but the to call function is bringing it into my staff list. It's in alphabetical order. And of course, there's only one. I mean, if I put him somewhere else in the list, right? So to uh, Irving comma J, but it still only shows up one time in my list. So we love it, right? It combines it into a single column. It's sorted. It's unique. And then our staff ID uh, formula is using the uh, pound sign to indicate that it should spill forward with the data that it's related to. 
that's it. So the core function here was to call. We added a few more to get a little bit more functionality. I hope you found this useful. Please tune in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day. Peace.